So welcome again, Patrice. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. And welcome to everyone that's here from all over the place. Um, like Laura said, my name is Patrice Graham. My pronouns are she and her. And today we're doing some yoga with the bugs. So um, this session is called Flyway Yoga. And really, I'd like for us to find our wings and to take some time to imagine that we do have wings and we're going to go through a life cycle. We'll start as an egg and then find our wings. Um, throughout this practice, if anything that I offer Oh, Patrice, I'm sorry. I accidentally muted you. Yeah, no worries. Bye, Dad. <laughs> I saw, uh, no worries. I'm going to blame Zoom. If anything. To, <laughs> exactly. It's technology. <laughs> we're, we're rolling with it. Um, if anything throughout this practice doesn't work for you or your body today or any day, please feel free to modify or skip it. Um, I will try to offer modifications. And if not, please listen to your body. And you can always take child's pose, which is the pose that we're starting in. Um, anytime that you need to rest, take breaks, water breaks as you need, please care for yourself. Um, so yeah, let's get started. We'll start by coming all over onto your mat or the floor, bring your big toes towards each other and your knees can be together or out to the width of the mat. And then bring your hips down towards your heels. and reach your arms overhead and allow your head and torso to come down towards the mat. If this isn't comfortable for you, please feel free to modify to a shape that works for you. Feel free to use a blanket or cushion underneath your knees or feet. And if there's space between your hips and your heels, that could also be a place to add some cushions. Once you arrive. Oh, there we go. That sounds so nice. <laughs> Imagine yourself in a forest. And use your imagination to begin to take the perspective of a fly or another bug or creature that resonates with you. Being present with the sounds that you hear, present with your body, and with your current experience. Throughout this practice, we'll begin to build, to grow, to change, to change form, to move our body. And throughout this practice, perhaps you can ask yourself, how can you trust your wings? Trust your own path. And right where you are, breathing in purposefully and exhaling fully while you listen to these beautiful sounds of nature. And allow yourself to be transported into the forest, into a different seat of the observer. Perhaps you're on a tree branch looking down. Perhaps you're on the earth looking up. And we'll take three deep breaths together here. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And then exhale through your mouth, sigh it out. Inhale through your nose. And exhale, release. Last time, inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. And then begin to inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. On your next inhale, press into your palms and gently, slowly begin to lift up slightly 
your head and chest lift. And then as you exhale, walk your hands towards the left side of your room and lower down towards the mat. Perhaps you take one hand and reach for the opposite wrist and take three deep breaths here. Imagine that you're finding your body for the first time, getting curious as to what's happening. As you're learning, as you're just beginning. One more breath. And then on your inhale, separate your hands, press into your palms, and exhale, walk towards the center and pause. On your next inhale, press into your palms, lift your head and chest, and walk over towards your right and lower back down. One more deep breath. And then inhale, come back. Press down. So come back to center. And exhale to settle. On your next inhale, press into your palms. Bring your knees towards each other so that they're underneath your hips. And walk your hands forward. Allow your head and chest to come towards the mat. And button hit back. Beginning to stretch. To come out of this egg. Beginning to find your, your space in the world. Connecting to your body. And in this pose, in this shape, we'll take a buzzing breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, bring your tongue against the teeth back of your teeth and buzz. One more time, breathe in through your nose. And then as you exhale, tongue against the back of your teeth and make a buzzing sound. Buzz. And pause. One more breath. And then on your next inhale, press into your palms once again and make your way up onto hands and knees. Again, imagining that you're just beginning for the first time, finding your body, finding your shape, finding your way. And as we begin to get curious, take a deep breath in, and drop your belly, look up, begin to look around. And as you exhale, round your spine and look up towards your belly, Allowing your breath to inform your movement. Keep going as fast or as slow as you'd like. Maybe adding in head and neck rolls. Looking around, what do you see? Remembering your perspective. Are you in a tree branch or are you on the ground or some other space? Maybe you're near water. You use your imagination throughout this practice to transform into a being with wings. One more time through. And then as you're ready, spread your fingers, finding your tentacles. Curl your toes under and lift your hips and make your way up. Bring your heels towards the floor. Once again, maybe you shake your head yes and no. Maybe it feels nice to find your legs, bend one leg, bend the other. One more breath in this shape. On your next inhale, come up onto your toes, look forward, and then start to step, jump, or walk towards the top of your mat. And fold back in. See if you can fold in deeply. Maybe bend your knees. Maybe your chest comes towards your thighs. As so often happens as we grow, we want to go back to that safety of where we were. Back to the safety of the, of the egg, of the cocoon. 
but we can't stay there. So as you inhale, begin to straighten your legs and bring your hands towards your hips and elbows towards each other, beginning to find your wings. Your chest might be parallel to the floor. Inhale, you're reaching through the top of your head while your button hips come back. One more breath here. And then as you're ready, bend deeply into your knees, bring your hands down, arms down, and bring your right arm underneath your left. And maybe the backs of your hands come together or your fingers come towards your palm and bend in, maybe chin towards your chest. Again, trying to find that protective balance between what was and what will be. But we can't stay here. So on an inhale, begin to lift your hands sending your button hips back, coming into chair with eagle arms and pause. Maybe bring your shoulders away from your ears. Maybe you can rock weight towards your heels. Maybe you can lift your toes, just beginning. And then as you're ready, bring weight towards your left foot and bring your right toes to the mat and lift your right toes slightly and then step back with your right foot and bring your right toes down to the mat, left knee is over your left ankle. And pause here for one breath. And then as we try to find our wings, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, elbows down, chest forward. And as you inhale, bring your palms towards each other, elbows towards each other, and exhale to expand. One more time, inhale, palms towards each other and exhale to open. Inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, hands down. Press through your right toes and step up. Bring your hands towards your hips. And as you inhale, rise to standing and bring your fist to your low back, elbows towards each other, hips forward, start to look up and back, changing perspective. And then inhale, come back up. Bring your hands back to your hips. Exhale, come back into a forward fold. Release your arms down. And then as you're ready, inhale your left arm underneath your right, coming into a bind with your arms. Maybe your palms come towards each other, maybe backs of your hands, and fold back in. One more breath. And then on your next inhale, root down, trusting your feet, trusting the breath. Inhale, lift your arms and shoulders come down away from your ears as you release your elbows down. Maybe lift your toes, beginning to play with balance. One more breath. And then bring weight towards your right foot, come up onto your left toes and begin to lift your left toes as you step back, coming into a lunge with the eagle arms and pause. Maybe you can bring your elbows down. One more deep breath. And then inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, elbows down, find your wings, find your span. And then inhale, palms toward each other, elbows towards each other. Exhale to open. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach through your fingers, finding your length. Exhale, hands down. Press through your left toes and step up. As you're ready, bring your hands to your hips. And inhale, start to lift. And then bring your fists to your low back. Elbows come towards each other, hips forward, start to look up and back once again. And inhale, come back to center. And we'll begin to play with balance, but before we do, let's test our balance from standing. Begin to rock weight towards your toes and then back towards your heels. Balancing. 
finding your center. And then to work on balance, begin to put weight towards your left foot and bend your right knee. Bring your hands to your hips. And if it feels better for you, you can extend your arms up or back behind. But if your wings are here, keep them by your, your hands on your hips, elbows out. And then stick, begin to send your right leg back as you lean forward, coming towards warrior three. Maybe your elbows come closer to each other. Maybe you're wobbly and that's okay. We're just beginning, we're finding our wings. One more breath. Nice, y'all. And then press into your left foot, bend your right leg, right knee forward, and release your right foot down and walk it out. And then when you're ready, begin to put weight towards your right foot, bend your left knee. Again, hands can be on your hips or hands can be towards the sky. And then when you feel steady, found your balance, begin to extend your left leg back. Again, option to extend your wings out in front or in back. Maybe finding something straight ahead to focus your gaze. One more deep breath. And then pressing into your right foot, begin to bring your left knee forward. And then release your left leg down. And maybe sway side to side. And then we'll come back to stillness. And I invite you to close your eyes or lower your gaze and take three deep breaths. And notice your heartbeat. Notice your breath. Notice if you built some heat. And when that's complete for you, we'll turn to face the long edge of your mat and start by bringing weight to your outside foot and lifting the leg that's inside and taking a huge step out. So one of the things that Laura Bass has taught me as in prep for bug fest is that the growth stages for, for these flies is called instar. And there's a pose in yoga called star pose. So we're going to take that as a sign of our growth as we make our way towards our peak poses and find our wings. So extend your arms out. Your toes are slightly outward. So your feet are probably at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, reach through your fingers, exhaling to root down through your feet and pause here. Maybe you can turn your pinkies towards each other and notice what happens. And then open back up. One more time, inhale pinkies towards each other and pause. And then on your next exhale, pinkies come back up. So one of the things that we're working on a lot as we find our wings is balance, finding balance. So we'll start to find balance with our star pose. So begin to press weight towards your right foot and lift your left leg, arms come up. And then as you exhale, bring your left leg down, bend into your knees, elbows come down, find your wings. And then inhale, find flight, lifting up and exhale to lower. And keep doing this side to side, finding your pace, your breath that works for you. Two or so more times each side. And the next time you come down, pause. And maybe you can bring your wings back, your elbows back. And feel what happens in your spine and your back and your shoulder. Two more breaths. One more. 
And then inhale, extend back up. Straighten your legs, straighten your arms. And then exhale, come back in. As we prepare for liftoff, finally coming into our form, maybe you can lift one heel and lower, and then lift the other heel and lower. And if your wings are tired and you'd rather have antennas, you can take your arms out or bring your wings down at any point. Lift one leg from one heel and then the other. You can keep alternating side to side or lift both heels and find your path, your wings. Or maybe you're just trying to balance and that's where you are today and that's okay. One of the differences between us and these creatures with wings is their anxiety is different. Their anxiety is used for survival instead of worrying about comparing to someone else's path and their wings. One more breath. And then bring your heels down, bring your wings down towards your thighs. And then you can stay here or bend one wing down and inhale back up. Exhale, other wing down and inhale up. One more time each side. And then inhale, come back up and begin to butterfly your um, feet towards each other, a little wider than hip distance. Inhale, reach through your fingers. Exhale, palms come together. And then begin to lower. Maybe your elbows come together to start. And then come as low as you'd like to go. And then once you arrive, maybe your wings can open up your hips. And pause here. Take five or so breaths. Can you reach the top of your head up towards the ceiling? Finding your way out of the cocoon, finding your path, your body, your shape. Two more breaths. And then bring your hands down behind your back and extend your legs long to start, maybe wiggle. And then as you're ready, begin to. Find butterfly pose. The soles of your feet are together. Your knees are out to the side. We'll pause here. Maybe your hands come to your hips. Or maybe your tentacles are extending. Starting with fists. And as you inhale, begin to straighten. Exhale, bringing your hands towards the front. Inhale, extend. Exhale to come back. Two or so more time. The next time your fingers come out, maybe you can wee wiggle your fingers, maybe you can wiggle your arms. And as you wiggle, bring your hands down to your hips and bring your elbows back behind you. Maybe your gaze goes up and perhaps you can find your wings and flap through your knees and through your elbows and maybe you're more stillness and observing. We'll take three or so more breaths. One more breath. And then release your hands down to the outsides of your knees and bring your knees towards each other and bring your hands to one side and make your way onto hands and knees. So the pose that we just did, we were imitating a, let me find the word, uh, more about press the, oh, okay. Let me find it. <laughs> hey, I'm here. Um, the 
cecropia moth. So this pose was our cecropia moth with their antennas and with their wings. And now we're going into crane fly, which is our peak pose. So we've done a lot to warm up our hips and our arms and shoulders as we take this. And again, find your path. Maybe only one leg wants to come out to the side. We'll start from table and begin to take one knee out, and then the other. And maybe it feels better for your hands to be right underneath. Or you can extend your arms out, coming into our full crane fly and pause. And notice how you feel. Notice your breath. Notice what your body needs at this moment in this shape. Maybe you need rest. And if so, to come out. Remembering you're not stuck. Perhaps you can come back to imagining the view you have from the branch or from the field. What do you see? What's important in this new body? I'm sure it's not. Flies don't worry about Instagram likes, TikTok views. Perhaps you can feel fully supported by the earth, reliant on the earth and knowing that the earth will provide what you need to survive. And I think if I were a crane fly, I would be thinking about maybe finding a mate <laughs> when they're adults. <laughs> when they're adults, they don't usually eat, but you know, this crane fly pose is awesome with the spindly legs. Um, but a lot of people think that crane flies are mosquitoes and that they want to drink our blood, and they do not. Um, they don't usually eat anything as adults. Just a lot. Wow. <laughs> we'll take two more breaths. And then as you're ready, bring your tentacles back. You can leave your knees where they are and then come up onto your fingertips, spider tip fingers, and begin to lift your head and chest. Elbows are up towards the ceiling and exhale to lower. Two more times, inhale to lift and exhale to lower. Last time. And then bring your hands underneath your chest, walk your knees back to center and pause. Notice how your hips feel, maybe your shoulders. It might feel nice to take one leg back and make circles with your heel or with your ankle or with your whole leg. And then the other. And then we'll make our way back to child's pose, just for a few breaths. Noticing your heartbeat. One more breath. And then as you're ready, begin to make your way up onto your hands and knees. Take both knees to one side and come over onto a seat. If you're on a mat, you wanna be about midway on the mat. If you're on the floor, just making sure that you have space to begin to lean back and bring your arms out to the side and slowly lower down. And as we make our way towards the rest, we'll start 
and bringing your knees in towards your chest, coming back into this cocoon, back to the safe place. And then extend your wings out to the side, either making a T or goal post arm and bring your knees to a 90 degree angle and bring your legs to the right and look towards your left. Breathing deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth. On your next inhale, press down through your wings, lift your legs, and then exhale your knees towards the left, and maybe look to your right. One more breath. And then as you're ready, bend your knees back up, lift up, and bring your knees towards your chest. Maybe give yourself a hug. Maybe celebrate your body. If you'd like, you can extend your feet towards the ceiling and begin to rock side to side. And then as you're ready, come to a shape, a way of being to support your rest. Maybe your arms come out. Maybe your legs are extended out. Take up space. And I invite you to close your eyes or lower your gaze. Take a deep breath in through your nose and open your mouth and sigh it out. I was born free, free to fly high and soar into the blue sky. Please don't confine me in a concrete cage. This would make me mad with rage. Please don't clip my wings to prevent my flight. Please let me sing my song and reach great heights. Please let me spread my wings and take off into my life. Please let me flap my wings and levitate towards the sky. Though I may not soar high at the very first try, but please let me spread my wings and take off into my life. Please let me flap my wings and levitate towards the sky. Please let me sprout wings. Please let me fly. And here in the stillness, And we're all agreeing that that was a lovely way to close the fly away yoga session. I loved that poem. Um, Patrice, did you want to add anything before we? Yeah, so I think I'm not a science person, I'm not the airy fairy. So I, my connection to this is more of how can we be more like the flies and find our wings and find our own path and and trust the, the growth and and that we especially as we grow and there's we find this comfort of this new thing how can we avoid going back into ourselves and actually expanding yeah i was able to do some of the poses throughout and i think that's just something that we all need to keep in mind especially right now is you know, remember to find our wings. You know, if you're hunched over at your desk, like get up and spread yeah. out and like,
spread your feet and find new wings. I love that so much. Um, thank you for joining us. Remember, y'all, if you have any questions, you can still type them into the chat. I do want to share with you how you can stay connected with Patrice and with Colors of Yoga. They have some really amazing program topics and like themes for their classes. And they are doing all online classes right now. So, you know, you can, you can join in on those and um, hopefully when everything we're able to be back in person, you know, you can do that as well. So we will email you all with links to um, the website, email, Instagram. You can follow them at Colors of Yoga Raleigh. And for us at the museum, if you would like to stay connected, um, or if you would like a, a nice memento, you can purchase a Bug Yoga t-shirt. Oh, and here you go. You'll, we'll send you all of this information, but I do, I have to say, I love the uh, logo, so I'm glad we got to pull that up right now anyway. Um, so if you'd like to get a Bugfest t-shirt, you can do so at bugfest.org. You get a free t-shirt whenever you um, join or renew your museum membership. And the museum is going to be opening to the public on September 22nd. You have to reserve a ticket to, um, to, you know, to enter, but that's really just so that we can keep track of time to entry and keep everyone safe. So the tickets are free. It's just, you know, a reservation. Um, and we would like to thank you so much for joining and thank you to our sponsors um, for making this happen, making Bugfest a virtual infestation happen. And again, of course, thank you so much, Patrice, for, for leading this session. It was a really great start to our day. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you to everyone that participated. And may you all be happy free. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Okay. Bye, everyone.